ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host, Airsoft Al, and welcome to the first of many videos talking about, of course, my loadout for the Tupelo Airsoft Club Toy Drive, coming, uh, well, happening December 10th, 2022. It is going to happen at 11 o'clock at Tupelo Airsoft Club. For more information, go to the pinned comment down below. Now, last time I went there, it was just me rocking my beret and a pair of safety glasses, or at least a pair of striker glasses, no face protection whatsoever, and I fucking paid for that. I got shot in the air, I got shot in a lot of other places, I've learned from that mistake. Uh, this year, however, I'm definitely going to be doing something a little bit different. What I'm going to be doing, of course, is obviously face protection number one. Now, I have on me right now, of course, a nice little bit of mix between a regular... Uh, neoprene mask with a metal front guard. Now the metal front guard here has actually helped me a little bit and has actually protected my face from a few teeth shots from the last couple games I've been to with this thing on. It's already proven its worth and I'm definitely going to be happy with it. Uh, mixed with of course the loadout, the vest I'll be rocking, is definitely something entirely. Now it's in woodland because honestly I love woodland and that's something I learned from this field. This field does have a lot of trees. This field, this this field does have a lot of wooded areas. So I'm definitely going to be rocking woodland a lot. I'm not going to be rocking any other colors that's going to make me stand out. Uh, I am, of course, wearing the ASG Striker uh, <clears throat> safety glasses because these actually have proven their worth. Uh, I will be doing a video on these someday, uh, but I will say that these have actually proven their worth, and I'm definitely going to continue wearing these unless, of course, I'm, it's around the daytime, then I'm probably going to be wearing uh, darker full seal goggles. Uh, but aside from that... Uh, obviously, as I've stated in the first video uh, to this and reiterating, I'm not going to be wearing my beret on the field. Uh, I learned my lesson last time and that I actually need proper head protection because I've actually bonked my head a couple of times uh, on the actual obstacles themselves. So the question you're probably asking is, what am I going to be rocking to protect my head? This, ladies and gentlemen, is my Mitch helmet. My Mitch 2002, from what I understand, a helmet from Emerson. Uh, this, of course, has a Emerson uh, Woodland camo top on it has some nice uh, bit of uh, yes, yes, all that good stuff. It, it's definitely got what I need for everything else in between. Uh, it's got these right here, which I'm definitely going to like uh, for if I'm going to rock my camera. The cameras I will be using is, of course, the GoPro Hero 5 session, which will be, of course, on the side of my helmet here, thanks to a Picatinny mount which, again, makes it very easy and makes it so it has a nice little bit of over-the-shoulder look of it, but at the same time, it's one of those things. As for my selfie camera, once again, I'm going to be using the Vivitar uh, 4K action camera. This has actually been very nice, very useful, and has worked out for me greatly. I just have to hope that the battery will last uh, this time. However, I'm thinking of trying to find uh, solutions for my uh, battery issues. For my zoom cam, ladies and gentlemen, of course, I will be running using the run cam. Uh, this is a old model. This is the run cam 2, I believe, with the 35 millimeter uh, zoom scope, uh, zoom on it. This is an old run cam. I don't have the newer ones. I'm running a lot of older or off-brand cameras for this, but it's just one of those things. Now, I hear you asking me exactly why the helmet. Why am I rocking the helmet and not the beret? Well, the reason for the helmet is actually something I learned again on the field, as well as a few others. The area around Tupelo Airsoft Club is actually fairly woodland, it has a lot of urban sections, and I have actually bonked my head a few times on their obstacles. Uh, again, the beret, while providing some protection, not a lot. So this is for mostly my own head protection, and of course protecting me from the branches, the actual obstacles themselves, and actually keeping myself from actually getting shot in the head and actually protecting my head as well as the ears. God help me, this actually protects my ears. Uh, so more or less this is just to protect myself from actual legitimate hurt. Uh, again, I am paranoid about myself, uh, so it's just one of those things. Um, but no, seriously though, the helmet and full face, well not really full face, but you get what I'm saying, these two combined, as well as the woodland camo, which, by the way, is going to make me very, hopefully, hard to spot, is going to definitely give me an advantage in terms of not only protection, but also camouflage. Um, again, I'm definitely ha these are definitely the ones I'm going to be rocking at the field in terms of head protection. And that's not going to mean I'm not going to be wearing the beret. I will wear the beret in between games and for photo shoots, 
or even just, you know, when I'm doing uh, simple, uh, you know, vlog style things. Uh, but again, I'm wearing this and this for my own cranial and facial protection. But that's just what I'm wearing on my head and face, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this video has helped you out and kind of give you my reasoning as to why I'm wearing what I'm wearing on my head and face and, of course, my eyes for Tupelo Airsoft Club's third annual toy drive, which is December 10th at 11 a.m. If you guys are coming to the event, let me know what you guys are rocking on your head and face and, of course, what your eye protection is. And if you guys aren't coming, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of my choice for head, eyes, and mouth protection and partial face protection. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Al. And again, if you want to find out more information about the Tupelo Airsoft Club, link down below in the pinned comment is the event page. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Al, and I shall see all you lovely, lovely people in the next video. Till next time. Later.